Hello family and thank you for joining me. Thank you for stopping by the house as we dialogue on another story that it seems like U.S. Weekly had brought out on Marlo Hampton giving her two cents on Kenya Moore and the situation that she's going through with her husband Mark Daly child. I was like what Marlo got something to say? Well she got something to say we got time to read about it. Am I right family? I'm right about it. I know it. But anyway, U.S. Weekly, like I said, brought out a nice story for us to partake of. It was written by Sarah Heron, uh, and she titles her article, uh, Marlo Hampton Gets Real About Kenya Moore and Mark Daly's Relationship. That's why she's so mean to us. Okay, so we know we've gotten into it uh, last episode where we saw how Mark kind of got into it with production. That he felt that they were just being too evasive with his uh, Black Man's Lab charity event. And how security following Kenya around like, you know, she's a president or first lady of something. And it was just all a big mess. And Mark wasn't looking pretty or handsome for it. He didn't uh, give... Kenya, her accolades on how she was a vital part to uh, setting up his particular Black Lab uh, charity event and what work she did put in there free of charge, uh, pro bono, by being his wife. So we get on into the article and it says, They may not see eye to eye, but Marlo Hampton still wants more for Kenya Moore than Mark Daly. So in a sense, it seems like... Um, Marlo is having some empathy for Kenya, even though Kenya treated her wrong. <laughs> even though Kenya said she didn't pay for any seats in the house for her to even try to bring herself or her two nephews, but it just is what it is. But from all that is said and done, Marlo still wants the best for Kenya and wants a loving relationship of a partner for Kenya and not what Mark is displaying and putting her under the bus every time he get a chance to throw her up under up under the bus okay that's just my sidebar going back to the article it said all 36 real housewives couples who filed for divorce after appearing on tv isn't that something we ain't gonna go into that though not in this particular video but going back to the article it said i would never want a husband to uh, speak to me the way that man speaks to her in front of millions of people the longtime real housewife of Atlanta friend told us weekly magazine uh, exclusively, exclusively on the Hot Hollywood Podcast. And I don't want the baby to grow up and hear the jokes and the things he says to her. I will remain single before I would ever have to deal with a man talking to me the way, uh, or talking to me that way. And I don't even care for Kenya, but that's just ridiculous, okay? Kenya 49 and Mark also 49 share 16 month old daughter Brooklyn while they called it quits in September of 2019 after two years of marriage. The Bravo star has previously told us that they are working on their marriage. Now sidebar don't know why she's working on her marriage. Don't know why Kenya can't see the forest for the trees and definitely can see Mark's not on the same page with her unless this is a storyline she made him play in full. And that was her contractual agreement for him to act the ass so she can buy out gracefully and say, you know, put it all on Mark and his demeanor. Now, if it is true and she's actually going through this, my question is, why can't you? You have the resources. He's verbally abusing you. You have your proof that you can't stay and have a good head on your shoulders uh, to remain in a marriage that's not... Uh, built on love okay so what are you still doing there why are you still doing there you're going to do more harm to yourself and your child uh, than anything that you could possibly hope to work out with Mark Daly if and truly he is this type of person that you're trying to depict on television for us to partake of okay every time he is aired on the show okay going back to the article it says um I still don't know all of Mark's triggers. Can you say it on Sunday's episode? You feel like you're crazy. Like, why is he upset? That is what's scary. Because you are in a union with someone that's supposed to be forever. And you don't know who this person is. It's difficult for him to admit that he does anything wrong in nearly three years that we've been together. I can remember this man only apol apologized to me one time. Again, Kenya, why are you with him? 
he's not holding a gun to your head. I don't. I'm sure you have the resources to be able to survive without him. So again, why are you with him? Why are you trying to save face? All right, just do what you got to do and keep it moving. Going back to the article, it says, Later in the episode, Mark yelled at producers to stop filming him. I feel like all night there was tension. I didn't think he was very warm to me. He never thanked me in front of the crowd. Can you explain? It just wasn't a pleasant evening, and it did not end well. At that point, we were very tired. Uh, the back and forth and just the stress for our relationship and where we were. Marla, for her part, said she thinks the former pageant queen fights with the other women because her relationship is so rocky. That's very good insight, Marlo. I must say my sidebar. People tend to hurt people who are hurt themselves. And instead of them just dealing with the issue, coming full circle and full ahead, they digress and take it out on people that it has nothing to do with. Okay? But that's just my sidebar. Moving back to the article and the conclusion of the article, it was written, That's why she's so mean to us, Marla told us. Hurt people hurt other people. She just tries to hurt me, and I'm going to get whatever God has in store for me. And hopefully she gets a husband that truly loves her, respects her, and makes her feel happy. Okay, and then it just tells us basically to watch the upcoming episodes of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which airs on Bravo's Sundays or Sundays on the Bravo channel at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I really thought that was good for Milo to actually find empathy for Cynthia, I mean for uh, Kenya Moore. After Kenya Moore tries to dog her as much as she can. But she really don't mess with Marlo like she messed with the other women. Meaning Kenya Moore. Because she know Marlo would get her together quick, fast, in a hurry. Would stay on that ass until that ass started bleeding. You know what I'm saying? And then she probably wouldn't let up then. She will still be pressing the gas, pressing the gas, pressing the gas. Going to town, honey. Dragging Kenya Moore for filth all the way down Main Street. But anyway. Um... Yeah, what do y'all think about that? Do y'all think Kenya is uh, playing a game? She just has this uh, storyline that Mark has to play out through its entirety. And then he'll get his check and then they'll move on into the sunset. Or do you actually believe that Kenya is actually going through this and that she really needs to seek counseling? Her and Mark both. Or call it quits before they damage babies, Brooklyn's environment and her well-being as well. Because you can't have people arguing all the time or being, um, what you see, uh, conceited and, and snotty with each other. It's just going to wear off on the baby girl. And she's going to not know where to come or go. And that's not fair because she wasn't asked to come here. Okay, that's all I have for this particular episode of a storyline on a article I found for us to partake of. Now I want to know what my family thinks about it. Get down in them comments, interact with one another, and I will see y'all next video. Stay blessed and continue to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. See you later.